All right, so I have one of the easiest, the fastest, the most simple, but yet very elegant looking centerpieces to make with you today. Come check it out. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and some organization, but all on a budget. Let's check out today's craft. All right, the pumpkin. So originally the pumpkin was $20, but I waited until it went on sale, so I got it for, I think it was six, six or eight. Anyhow, a lot cheaper than 20. I'm going to start by going around this area right here that's indented a little after the stem and cutting it. So we're going to separate that from the pumpkin. Going to start with an X-Acto knife, but I think that's probably not my best choice and I'm probably gonna end up having to go for um, a serrated knife. Oh, this material actually cuts pretty nicely, so we might be in luck. It's kind of an interesting feeling. It's kind of like um, a nerfy feeling, but firmer. Like a nerf ball feeling, but more firm. Firmer? Firm? Okay, so I have my wire cutters as well as my bundle of flowers. And I'm going to take these thin stems off of this larger stem. This I don't want that one. I just want these thin ones. So we're going to cut them all off. So what you can see I'm doing on these is I'm crimping it down so that there's a spot. And then I'm kind of cutting it into the plastic and then I'm snapping the wire. It just makes it easier, not as hard on your hands. Crimp down, cut the plastic, and then snip. So now I have all my flowers cut off, and I'm going to take my pumpkin. Here you can see where we had cut off the hole in the very top. It's not a very big one, because I don't want the flowers to hang way out. But now I'm just gonna start arranging them in there. Some of them have a little vine that hangs off of them, and I like how that looks. So I'm going to try and keep that towards the outside and I'm going to try and just make it cute. And don't be afraid with this part. If you don't like how it looks, pull them all out and start again. You can rearrange as much as you need to get it to look how you want it to look for your centerpiece. So here's the finished project. It was super easy and super fun. It looks really nice and would go with just about any table setting you have as long as you have the right flowers. Don't forget, you can always personalize this and add a little bow around the pumpkin or a little ribbon. You could write something on it. Make it all yours. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.